Hello and welcome back to Everything Tumblr Tutorials. My name is Rebecca Escott and I am excited about this tutorial because I'm going to show you a fun spray paint technique that I'm hoping you're going to love. I'm going to go ahead and use Color Shop, Aromatherapy, and the Island Girl because this paint dries super fast. I don't show the initial ombre with the spray paints, but you will see it later on in the video, I promise. So I waited about 30 minutes to apply this very first coat of epoxy using Fast Set from Counterculture DIY. Before moving on to the next step, you really want to make sure this is fully, fully cured. As always, make sure you use your heat torch to pop any bubbles you may or may not be able to see. Okay, here she is, fully cured, and I'm literally obsessed with this ombre. So now it's time to move on to the next step. Now I'm going to mention that I'm going to use the electrical tape and tape all the way around this tumbler. You can't really play around with electrical tape and overuse it, if you will, because it gets stretchy, it gets very wonky. But if you hit the dollar store, I think it's $1.25 now, you can get a pack of three. So to make life easier for myself and for this tumbler to not look all wonky, I am going to wrap the whole thing. Then I'm going to go ahead and peel every other one. I fast forward this process so that you can just see exactly what I'm doing and it's super simple. I want to mention while I'm taping this off is that when I get down to the bottom, I just take my scissors and snip it off. I'm not concerned about the bottom at all at this point. Set your affirmations, aspirations I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation Good food, good mood, blood in circulation One step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. Now that I have the whole thing wrapped, I'm just going to pick a random lucky piece of tape and peel it off. From there, I'm going to go ahead and peel every other one. Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though. I always gotta fight and hide from the demons, y'all. Negative thoughts are poison they ride. Uh, head full of flies, so here come the clouds. Uh, they'll never stop unless I can swap. All the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost. Uh, yeah, so I'ma fake it till I make it. Positive thoughts are overtaken. I got patience. One day at a time is how you operate a cadence. A flow, you grow. Okay, so at this point, it can get a little bit tricky. As you can see, we need to eyeball this so that all of my stripes look pretty cohesive. When I peel up that final piece of tape, I'm actually going to use new tape and make another line. I'm going to do this, I think, two or three times, just adjusting those stripes to make sure, again, that they look nice and straight and approximately the same width only have to do this because the width of the electrical tape and the width of my tumbler it just doesn't mathematically add up so unfortunately it's not an even distribution if you will this is why I have to tweak it at the end Once you're pretty satisfied with your tape stripes, now we're going to go ahead and spray paint ombre, which you're going to see in the next clip, that I'm going to do opposite ombre on this tumbler using the exact same colors. So I like to start down at the bottom, and as you can see, I'm going to take the purple over the teal and the teal over the purple, leaving the center open just enough to where I can really see where my ombre needs to collide. Because when I peel this tape off, I really want the original ombre and this overlay ombre to match up seamlessly. 
So you'll notice that I'll go back and forth between the colors so that I can start around the rim and start around the bottom and work my way to the center. While I'm doing this, I'm also making sure that I have a nice solid coverage of my paint because once I pull this tape off, there's no going back. I hope that you're enjoying this video so far and if so, please hit that like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more tutorials coming soon. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation One step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education Once you're satisfied with your ombre, we're going to go ahead and immediately, very carefully, remove the tape this is probably the most satisfying part because here's where you're going to start to see that your ombre in the center is perfect. Once you've removed all of the tape, you're going to want this to completely dry before moving on to your next coat of epoxy. With the color shot paints, it's usually about 30 minutes and we're completely dry. So for this next coat of epoxy, I am again going to be using the Fast Set from Counterculture DIY. We're going to wait about three hours before moving on to the design phase. And here's a little sneak peek of the pink and teal one that I did. And I put a decal on it that says Bloom with Grace. The floral that I'm using is a white ink design from AB Designs. To worry, I will make sure that this design print is also in the links listed below. As with any coats of epoxy, again, make sure you use your heat torch to pop any bubbles that you may or may not be able to see. Once your tumbler is fully cured, we're now ready to place our floral design. This is from another white ink collection from AB Designs that I'm super excited to place onto this tumbler. You can place as many or as little as you'd like just to go ahead and continue to decorate the tumbler. You'll see me wiping this off quite frequently during this clip simply because I'm trying to get that flyaway glitter off. <laughs> I was trying to do these without glitter, but there's little specks here and there you simply just can't avoid. Once you've placed all of your beautiful floral designs, it's now time to go ahead and add an RSA. So I just simply wrote up in Cricut Design Space, Bloom with Grace. I thought this was absolutely perfect for this tumbler, as well as my pink and teal one. The font I used, Beautiful Heart, which I downloaded from Defont.com. My vinyl saying, I used Tech Wrap Craft Vinyl for both designs. Not to worry, I will definitely have those links for you down in the description below. Once you have finished designing your entire tumbler, not to worry, it does not need to be sealed, and it's now ready for its next coat of epoxy. For this coat of epoxy, I am again going to be using the Fast Set from Counterculture DIY. This tumbler, as well as my pink and teal one, only needed one more final coat and they were completed. I want to thank you so much for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.